501 on today's TMJ4, and we start this morning in Oak Creek with the Temple Massacre. It has now been about 48 hours since that deadly shooting rampage at the Sikh Temple. And we are learning many new details. Here's what we know right now. The gunman, Wade Page, legally bought the 9mm handgun that he used in the massacre. Three people are still in critical condition this morning, including Oak Creek Police Lieutenant Brian Murphy. And victims' families are sharing stories of heartbreak as the Sikh community tries to cope with this unthinkable catastrophe. Stories of fear, heroism, and tragedy are still coming out from the massacre. Our Tom Murray was one of the first reporters on scene Sunday, and he joins us now live from the temple in Oak Creek this morning. Tom? Ben Susan, good morning. The FBI says they are working around the clock to gather and process evidence from the Sikh Temple of Wisconsin. This as people who worship at the temple are asking when they can return there to pray again. A house of prayer and community, now a crime scene. The FBI's agent in charge vowing to return the temple to its devotees by the end of the week. I would hope to have it back to you by Thursday at least. Um, but, you know, I, I just don't know how long it will take. We want to be as thorough as possible. Eyewitness accounts emerging now from those inside the temple. Duck, duck, duck. This man described the sound of gunfire and how he rushed others to cover in the basement. I was in the dining hall. Okay. And when I saw the guy was uh, pointing gun to the kitchen side, ladies working in there. This survivor says police hurried her past her deceased father-in-law laying lifeless near the main entry doors. I'm so scared last night. I can't sleep all night. And this morning there are new details emerging about the handgun used in this shooting rampage. We'll have those details coming up this morning at 5.30. For now, live on your side in Oak Creek, Tom Murray, today's TMJ4. Tom, thank you very much for that update. We are also learning more about the man police say was the gunman in this deadly rampage. Our Nick Montez is live in Cudahy with what we've learned about Wade Michael Page. Nick, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Wade Michael Page once uh, lived in this duplex right here. Just recently he moved in, but he also lived in a house across the street. We do know he was a loner and had racist views. His landlord says Wade lived pretty simple. No furniture, no utensils, not even a shower curtain. The FBI is heavily focusing in on gunman Wade Page's home. His landlord didn't think Page could be responsible for shooting and killing six people at the Sikh temple of Wisconsin Sunday. He seemed like a pretty normal, normal guy. He didn't, uh, he didn't even strike me as, as weird. But photos reveal Page's dark secret life. He's seen here with the Nazi flag behind him and his tattoos show his obsession with the white supremacist movement. We stayed in his room for the most part. Page moved out July 15th across the street. And three weeks later, the former military soldier went on a rampage at the Sikh Temple of Wisconsin. Charles Benson caught up with U.S. Attorney James Santel. Do you have any better understanding as to why Page did this and maybe why he targeted this temple in Oak Creek? We are continuing to investigate that actively even to this time, Charles, and that's a part of the complete focus of the FBI, of the ATF, and of our office. Now, a possible motive for the Temple Massacre shooting is Page's ties to a white supremacy group, and we tried getting in touch with his ex-girlfriend, but the two split up, and she did not answer her phone. On your side in Cudahy, Nick Montez, today's TMJ4. All right, Nick, thank you. It's 5 after 5, and according to his stepmother, Wade Page had a normal childhood. She told our affiliated station in Denver that she is devastated by his actions. I would not have known that was Wade. What has changed him, I have no idea, and obviously... We're never going to know. <laughs> he had Hispanic friends and he had black friends. You know, there was none of that. I'm totally devastated. His father is devastated. We're in pretty much in shock. So my heart goes out to those people. I was, I, I'm as devastated for them. Well, three victims from Sunday's shooting rampage are still in critical condition this morning at Freighter Hospital, and they include an Oak Creek police officer who was the first on the scene. He was shot nine times. 51-year-old Lieutenant Brian Murphy, a veteran officer with the department, Page ambushed Lieutenant Murphy in the parking lot. The mayor of Oak Creek praised Murphy's work. Always enjoyed interacting with him. Uh, you know, whenever we met around around the city, he he is a genuine character and, and a fun guy, and. Uh, and you know, I wish him just the 
quickest of recoveries. Murphy's family issued a statement that read in part, quote, we stand by Brian and pray for his recovery. We extend condolences to the family of those who lost their lives in this tragic incident. Up next, I'm